Yo, what's up, Centaurus Poe, your favorite casual gaming anime nerd. Just because you are not an expert does not mean you're not allowed to have an opinion. In today's episode, we are going to talk about the movie, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Yes, I know what you are thinking. What is that name? One day, a kid at a hospital um, who isolates himself from everyone and doesn't show interest in anyone's life stumbles across a handwritten book um, called Living with Dying. Listen, couldn't that just be the title of the flipping anime? He then finds the writer of the book a bubbly classmate of him, Sakura. She then tells him she is suffering from a deadly pancreatic disease and she is going to die soon or she's going to die in the future. She also tells him not many people knows about this and then he doesn't show any interest and just walks away. But she then forces him to spend her limited time together. Listen, this is one of my most favorite anime movies that I have watched, like get out of here your name. Like this type of story has been done a lot in like real life where person A is going to die and then they spend their last few days together and you know, you know the drill. But the biggest difference here I think is the writers more focused on the connection between the two whereas usually they focus on the um, let's say romance aspect of the story. This is like the perfect story of um, opposites attract. The two main characters come from different worlds. The one doesn't want any connection with anyone and the other wants that connection because that makes her feel alive. But the two main characters were great, I must say, especially when they played um, Truth or There. The questions that they asked really hit home and the overarching messages really gives you something to think about. The character designs were great. The music is just wonderful to hear. The animations and visuals are also wow, splendid, you know, especially the fireworks scene. But the ending, like I would say, I don't know how I feel about it, but it was still good, you know. There was a conclusive ending. But don't skip the credits. After the end credits, there is a scene. Spoilers. The biggest question that came out of the movie, and it's not how, how would I rate it, it is, what does it mean to be alive? But I'm still going to rate it, and I rate this a 9.3 out of 10. Enjoy.